Hey everybody. Hey everybody. The Super Vader 400 here, back for another review. And this time, this is my short review of the Arrow Universe, which refers to the three television series Legends of Tomorrow. The, the Green Arrow television series starring Stephen Amell, and of course, the 2014 Flash TV series, and finally, the, well, this actually already debuted, but this will be upcoming for me, the debuting and upcoming Supergirl TV series. I will give short reviews of the first three t television series I just named and give my thoughts on the Supergirl television series, which I haven't seen yet. All right, let's start off with the 2011 Arrow series. I've been a huge fan of this series since it was introduced to me. I think I first saw it in 2012. I remember it premiering in 2011, but I didn't watch it to, to, to 2012. I've been a huge fan of this um, series for its um, for spotlighting characters like Green Arrow and of course latter seasons focusing on one of my all-time favorite Batman and DC villains, Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul and for sh pretty much starting the Arrowverse and sharing a um, universe with the uh, Flash, when these two characters crossed over, man, man, I haven't watched the series like all the way through season by season, but I've seen several episodes and it's awesome. The cinematography, the costume design, the action, and this Arrow universe, I think is much better than the DC Extended Universe. The DC Extended Universe is bigger and more epic, but I always thought, especially when it comes to comic books and video games, TV series or web series or web movies are much better, are much better than um, live action movies, as much as I love the epicness of seeing these films on the big screen, on the big screen. Let me continue. Let me continue. So yeah, and I love Stephen Amell as the arrow. His arrow is like... His arrow is pretty much the most dark, the darkest version of Green Arrow I've ever seen. His arrow is vastly similar to the to Batman, to Batman. Um, yeah. The only thing I was disappointed about, what well, I was until I heard the news of a Supergirl series, was that this series was not in the same universe as the Smallville series. However, after see, hearing about the debuting Supergirl series, I'm not really angry about that anymore so green arrow um this was my first short review of it i'm gonna give a longer review later and then i'm gonna give a um then i'm gonna review season by season i have a website to finally watch all this stuff because i'm too lazy to catch all this on tv the only thing i hate is that each episode is like that's the only thing i hate about these adult prime time series they're like 60 minutes they're 60 minutes long versus um, children's television shows, which are 20 to 30 minutes. But like I said, awesome, awesome series, man. Then, of course, next is the Flash TV series. The Flash TV series. I haven't been watching any of this since about season one. I've seen a little bit of season two. But this series has been awesome. Season one was an awesome way to start this series. It was so cool seeing all these superheroes superheroes and supervillains like the flash and captain cold from my childhood um on my tv screen man um this series strong storytelling hilarious and awesome costume design awesome costume design and effects for a tv series and lots of kick-ass um lots of kick-ass action man Flash TV series is awesome. I hope the DC Extended Universe film is just as good as this. Then, of course, um, the next series. I haven't really seen a lot of this series, but I saw the pilot and I loved it. And that's the Legends of Tomorrow television um, series. I don't get to watch this series much often because this series came on on Thursday. And I usually take... I usually go with my uncle or mother to take my grandmother home, and we usually leave 
we usually um, leave around um, six or seven, six or seven. So I completely always miss this series. Sometimes even later. So I completely miss this series. But this series right here was awesome, man. This series right here is awesome. I love how this series focuses on obscure and lesser known DC characters like Firestorm from from the old Super Friend, the last season of the Super Friends cartoon in the 1980s. Um, White Canary, loosely based on Black Canary, Black Canary, Hawk Girl and Hawk Man, Hawk Man and Captain Cole, who was introduced in um. The, the Flash series reappears in this series as one, as an antagonist, as an antagonist in this series, and also Adam is featured um, in this series, in this series. So like I said, um, awesome universe here. Like I said, I think this Arrow universe is much better than the DC Extended um, universe. Next is the Supergirl TV series. This show already premiered on CBS last year, October of last year. The season two will debut October of this year on the CW. CW, I've seen the trailer. The Supergirl scenes look good, but the pre-Supergirl scenes, uh, the series doesn't really look. The series doesn't really um look that good. But um, I saw um a, a IGN video with the cast. I'm happy to hear that Martian Manhunter will be finally making his. Well, he I think he did appear in the Justice League pilot in the in the 1990s, but the Martian man who was making his live action um debut, so I'm excited to see him. I'm excited to see him, and like I said, um this is connected to the Arrowverse, so Superman and Supergirl in this series. I was disappointed at the Arrow television show wasn't connected to the Smallville television show from the early 2000s, but um. But that's okay, cause this this is a new um, cinematic universe, and of course, um, the Supergirl television series connects them. Like I said, the Supergirl doesn't look as good as those first three television shows I I I I just talked about, but I'm looking forward to it. Well, this was my short um, review of the Arrow universe. I'm gonna do larger, in-depth reviews of each of these um, series talking about the cast, the plots, and everything, and I'm going to do season reviews. All right. I'm done.